In this video, we are going to learn all about rotation symmetry. First, let's talk about this word symmetry. An object has symmetry if you can do some operation to that object and have it look still exactly the same. So an object has symmetry if you can perform an operation, and an operation would be a flip, a slide, a rotation, something like that, and have it look exactly the same and be in the same exact place so that basically you couldn't tell that you did anything to it at all. So rotation symmetry in particular is when you can rotate an object about its center and have it look the same as it did before so that you couldn't even tell you rotated it. So for example, if we thought about a square and we thought about rotating this square about its center, we could rotate this square 90 degrees and have it look exactly the same as long as we're rotating it about its center. So if we think about rotating 90 degrees clockwise, well, once we're at 45 degrees, the square will look tilted like this. So we're sort of halfway there. And then 90 degrees, what will happen is everything will exactly match up and you'll be back to the original square again. The only difference is point A will now be over here, A prime, point B will be over here at B prime, C will be over here at C prime, and D will be over here at D prime. But besides the letters changing where they were, the square looks exactly the same. So a square is an example of a shape that has rotation symmetry because you can rotate it 90 degrees and it will look exactly the same. You could also rotate it 180 degrees, which is sort of halfway around a circle, or 270 degrees, three quarters of the way around, and have it look the same as well. Now you might be thinking that any shape could be rotated 360 degrees, a full circle, and look the same, and therefore there's a restriction on rotation symmetry that you have to rotate it less than 360 degrees, or else it doesn't have rotation symmetry. If the smallest number of degrees you can rotate it and have it look the same as 360 degrees, it doesn't have rotation symmetry. But the square works because its smallest number of degrees is 90 degrees, which is less than 360. So now we're going to look at five other shapes and just think about whether or not they have rotation symmetry. So for the rectangle, if we imagine rotating it about its center, if we tried to do just a quarter turn, so 90 degrees like the square, it wouldn't quite work because it would look like the rectangle sort of upside down like that, which clearly looks different. But if we do 180 degrees, it will match up exactly. And it wouldn't really matter if you did 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, it would be the same thing. So the rectangle has rotation symmetry, and its smallest angle you could rotate it is 180 degrees. It's the same thing with the parallelogram. You can also rotate a parallelogram 180 degrees in either direction and have it look the same. This point right here will move and become this point over here, and similarly this point will become this point on the other side. And if you want to test that, you can always cut out a parallelogram and literally rotate it and see that it looks exactly the same once you've only gone halfway around. The isosceles triangle doesn't have rotation symmetry because there's no way you could rotate it less than 360 degrees and have these two lines that are congruent be up in this same place. The regular hexagon does have rotation symmetry. If you rotate it about its center just 60 degrees, then each point will move over to the next point location. And the reason you know it's 60 degrees is because a hexagon has six sides. So you want to be able to rotate it one-sixth of the way around a circle, and that will make all the points move over to the next location. So because 360 divided by 6 is 60 degrees, it means that any multiple of 60 degrees will cause this hexagon to look exactly the same when you rotate it that number of degrees. So the smallest angle of rotation is 60, but 120, 180, and so on would also work. And finally, the circle has rotation symmetry as well, because you could rotate it any number of degrees and have it look the same. Even just one degree 
and it will look the same. That's sort of a property of a circle because it is made up of an infinite number of points here that are all the same distance away from this center point. Any rotation about the center and it will look the same. So the main idea with rotation symmetry is you're looking to see if you can rotate a shape about its center less than 360 degrees and have it look the same.